So McKay, McKay, McKay. McKay is a very complex uh, person. He's a very complex individual. I feel like McKay is searching for identity. With McKay, outside of football, it's hard for him to find his confidence. On that field, that's where he gets his happiness. That's where he sees the people cheering. That's where he feels like, I belong here. When he doesn't have that helmet on, when he doesn't have those pads on, when he's not around his teammates getting those cheers, it's real life, and he doesn't know how to deal with that. And as we see a lot in the show, he has to tone his anger down and try to find different ways of having an outlet. I don't know, Dad. I'm not the best. I don't know if I'm not the best. There's no way I'm getting drafted. I don't know what to do with that. He doesn't want to disappoint his dad in every decision that he makes. Him and his dad have, they have this bond that they've created from sports which is really both, both of their lives at this point. And as we see, you know, that kind of starts to crumble as it, as it continues to go on. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you, Cass. I feel like if we go to this party and you dress like that, I ain't gonna ever hear the end of it. In like a good way or a bad way? In a bad way. He has to try to figure out how to deal with his girlfriend that puts him in weird situations or makes him feel a certain way or makes him feel insecure about himself. You just see the insecurities of a man, of a young man in those situations because Everyone wants his girl. He has the girl, but he still knows that everyone wants her. Every time he goes around his friends, she's always getting talked about. There's never any respect or privacy when it comes to his girlfriend. And so that comes up in his mind when he's around her. And he doesn't want to say anything about it because he doesn't want to seem insecure. But all those things take play in that. And those things uh, cause his reactions to be the certain ways that they are to her. Working with Sid is amazing. I love Sydney. She's um she's very easy to work with and we have great chemistry. I feel like even in our audition process, we got to have that chemistry and got to really see how each other gel. And when we get on set, it felt the same way. Nothing changed. So I love her. She's super cool. My favorite part of Euphoria for sure, hands down, would just have to be the freedom that we experience on set. The energy is better when you have that environment to work. When I feel comfortable with my character, I feel like there are actually real life things that I relate to with my character. Things um, that I do in my personal life that we actually use for the character McKay, I'm a really big person on words. I speak my words every day. I speak like into the atmosphere. I make sure I put out there what I want to receive. And so I get in the mirror every day and I do that. And there's an interesting scene like we see in the episode of McKay when he's just looking in the mirror. That's a deep looking into your soul moment when you're trying to find yourself. You know, when you look in the mirror, you're looking into yourself. And so we took that and we got to elaborate on that. I feel like there will be a lot of people watching the show, so I just want them to understand identity. I think that's one of the hugest things. Not looking around, but looking within and really dealing with the things that you have to deal with in your life before being involved with everything else.